This is WVLT News at Noon. I'm Harry Sullivan. Thanks for joining us on WVLT News at Noon. Today, East Tennessee honors a fallen hero as people pay their final respects to Deputy Greg McCowan. He was shot and killed last Thursday night following a traffic stop. The suspect in the case arrested less than an hour before the McCowan family received friends yesterday afternoon. Today, his loved ones will, with, uh, will gather again for a funeral and to lay the father and grandfather to rest. Friends and family already gathering at Severe Heights Baptist Church for that funeral where we find our Jared Austin this afternoon. Jared, already seeing a lot of people there an hour before that funeral. Yeah, hundreds of people are making their way through here. Alcoa Highway head northbound to get into this parking lot is full of cars right now as they're going to pack this parking lot and then make their way inside the Baptist Church for a funeral service that does start at one o'clock. Now we do want to show you just a little zoomed in shot of where the hearse is right outside. That's where we expect to see Deputy McGowan's body going into that hearse later and then going to the uh, site in Blount County later today. Now we do also want to show you what it looked like off of Alcoa Highway way getting here just squad cars and police cruisers lining the street going all the way up there and then in that line is the car that will escort deputy greg mccowan's body out of here and we also want to show you just a higher up look of the drone video we just got about 15 to 20 minutes ago a lot of cars filling this parking lot. We have law enforcement from across the county, across the state even, and we have just friends and family as well. We did hear that Governor Bill Lee just made his way here about 10 to 15 minutes ago, so he's also here, but Harry, everything getting started in right around an hour, and then they expect to leave here in the next two to three hours. Yeah, Jared, and even speaking of the governor, the governor ordering fed, uh, the st uh, flags at half staff at the state capitol this afternoon, doing that about an hour or so. So a lot of state dignitaries in town, of course, dignitaries from all across our region, numerous sheriff's office, police offices involved in that. Our Jared Austin live at Severe Heights. We'll be hearing from Jared coming up a little later on as that funeral gets underway. Jared, thank you very much. And following the funeral, this is a look at the procession that will start at Severe Heights Baptist Church going to Grandview Cemetery in Maryville. This is the route. That procession will take Alcoa Highway to Hall Road in Blunt County, then to Tuckalichi Pike in Maryville. That's expected to start between 2.30 and 3 o'clock this afternoon, immediately following the funeral. They do ask that if you are going to stop along the route, please do so as safe as you can. That funeral starting at 1 o'clock today. We'll be live streaming that both on Facebook and inside your WVLT News app. We've also got numerous crews following the route from the church to Grandview Cemetery, where he'll be laid to rest, and we'll have continuing coverage, of course, all evening long on WVLT News. Meanwhile